Lord for making. But how was I to ever tell how long my prayer was taken? From A to Z, from Z to A, and everything between E. I got to yodel yesterday, and now I'm on Zucchini. Oh, yeah. Danger. A danger sign is up ahead. I shouldn't go that way. The sign is there to keep me safe. That's all it has to say. A bottle in the cabinet has danger on the label. I'll put away those dangerous things as quickly as I'm able. Somebody cared enough to put those danger signs in place so I know what is dangerous and also what is safe. Dear God, I'm glad that you are there when dangers are around. Stick by my side to guard and guide and keep me safe and sound. Have you ever seen a danger sign? When they're doing roads, they say they, they have danger signs. Maybe on top of a cliff or in the forest somewhere. What kinds of things are dangerous? Um, dragons, thorns, lions, tigers, bears, dinosaurs. It's comforting to know that God helps to keep us safe from danger. Dogs. Dear God, I have a dog. Her name is Doodles. She isn't pretty as a poodle. She's not as big as a Great Dane grows. She doesn't have a bloodhound's nose. She's not as golden as a retriever. She's not as fast as a greyhound either. She's not as long as a dachshund is. She can't play fetch or catch a frisbee. Can't herd sheep. That's much too hard. Doesn't climb mountains like a St. Bernard. She doesn't go hunting for rabbits or foxes. She isn't a boxer, so I don't think she boxes. She doesn't pull sleds through ice and snow. She's never won ribbons for best in show. She's just my plain old dog named Doodles. But how much do I love her? <laughs> Oodles. What kind of pet do you have? Two hermit crabs and a dog. Dog? It's their name Pill. A kitten? What's your favorite thing about your pet? He walks with me. He comes in my room, he just like walks in there and jumps up on my bed and licks me. Give him treats if he beats God. Thank God for all animals, especially your pet. Digging. I'm digging a hole in my backyard to see what I might find. Uh -huh. Perhaps I'll discover dinosaur bones or maybe a diamond mine. Ooh. I could dig up a pirate's chest filled with doubloons and jewels. Arr. Or delve into a deep dark cave. Cave, 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 cave. Oh, wouldn't that be cool? A little deeper and I'll have dug a passage through the earth. Oh. I might somehow, but up till now, all that I've dug is dirt. Rat. Dear God, I really dig your world and everything that's in it. I dig it more, but Mommy said... What on earth? To stop this very minute. Who's going to fill this in? Have you told God how much you dig this wonderful world? God would love to hear from you today. The letter D. I thank the Lord for letter D, the greatest letter there could be. It makes the coolest sound, the greatest sound around. No matter if it's up or down, the D is just the best in town. How do you say the letter D? How do you say the letter D? In Daredevil and Duck, in Donut and Dump Truck, in Daffodil and Dandelion, the letter D is mighty fine. That's the way to say the D. Let's all say the letter D. Without it, you can't dish desserts that are delish. You couldn't dig or dive or dine without the sound that is divine. That's how you say the letter D. That's how you say the letter D. That's how you say the letter D. That's how you say the letter D.
What words start with the letter D? Daddy. My name, Devin. Down. Don't. Danger. Daffodil. <laughs> Dandelion. Diapers. Thank God for everything that starts with D. Dark. Dear God, I do not like the dark. It's much too dark for me. What I don't like about the dark is it's too dark to see. Too dark to see the things that I imagine might be there. Too dark to see the things that I know might give me a scare. The darkness can be lonely too, I'm sure you would agree. But even in the dark I know that you are there with me. Dear God, do you like dark at all? I think perhaps you might. But then again, perhaps you don't. And that's why you made light. Where's the darkest place you've ever been? In my bathroom with the lights off and the doors closed because there's no windows. A store that's dark with the lights off. Having a computer room with everything off. Cakes and haunted houses. Were you scared of the dark? Yes, when Daddy turns the light off. God is always with you, day or night, light or dark. People in the Bible. Dinah had a dozen brothers, Dan plus 11 others. Deborah was fair and smart, Little David played his harp. Darius had a lion's den. One day he threw Daniel in. Dorcas knows that Jesus lives. Victory over death he gives. These are the D words that I know. For the Bible tells me so. Does your name start with the letter D? How about your friends? Do you know anyone whose name begins with D? Dancing. Dancing, I love dancing. You know, whistling, whirling, twisting, twirling trance. I say thank you, God, for every single chance that I get to kick my heels on up and dance. Dancing, God made dancing. God made bodies built to laugh and jump and run. And he filled us up with hearts for having fun. So I'm off and dancing, telling everyone. Dancing, it's entrancing. And I'll leave you with one thought before I go. Every dance you dance is just a chance to show. Just how glad you are that God has made you so. Dancing is something you can do just for fun. Can you show me how you dance for fun? Thank God for bodies built for work and play, and for dancing, too. Welcome to another deliciously delectable episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Hello, everyone, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. You know, we make some wonderful things in my kitchen every week. But since today we are talking about the letter D, I thought it would be the perfect chance to talk to you about a healthy daily diet. Not only does daily diet start with the letter D, it is also very, very important. 
Hello, Giuseppe. Did I miss anything? Gianni, what are you doing? Well, you said that today we are going to talk about the letter D. So I thought I would stop by the donut shop and bring a dozen donuts. Because, Giuseppe, donut and dozen both start with D. Well, that may be right, Gianni, but not when I'm talking about a healthy daily diet. Daily diet, Giuseppe? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Your daily diet, Gianni, that means all the food you eat in a day. To have a healthy daily diet, you want to eat a good mixture of things from each of the food groups. I still don't know what you're talking about, Giuseppe. Here, Gianni, look at this diagram I've set up. This diagram is called a food pyramid. It helps you to remember what foods you should eat to have a healthy diet. Very interesting, Giuseppe. So I am to eat all of my food stacked on top of each other to have a healthy diet. Gianni, I know this is difficult, but please try to follow along. Look here at the widest part of our pyramid at the bottom. These foods are in the bread, cereal, and pasta group. It's okay to eat more of them. Oh, so I can eat a dozen donuts. They are on the bread group, right, Giuseppe? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so fast, Gianni. Donuts are very yummy, but they are at the top of the pyramid in the group of sweets and snacks and other sometimes food. These are foods that should only take up a small part of our diet. Oh, but Giuseppe, I love the sweet snacks so much. You can have them. They should just be a small part of your whole daily diet. I think I understand, Giuseppe. You know, Gianni, I know a special prayer just for those sometimes snacks. It's called the dessert prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, of all the food I eat, my favorites are desserts. Although I eat them at the end, I'll thank you for them first. Amen. Okay, Giuseppe. Now, may I eat my donuts? I don't know, Gianni. Have you checked the diagram? Okay, okay. I'll check the diagram. Now, tell me what you have already eaten today. Well, I had cereal, pancakes and waffles, sausage, eggs and milk for breakfast, a candy bar for a snack, a plate of cheesy pasta for lunch with a side of pretzels, and I just finished snacking on some salami. Boy, oh boy, Gianni, you had things from the bread group, the meat group, and the milk group, and a few from the snack group, but you really need to eat something from the fruit and vegetable group. Fruit and what, Giuseppe? Vegetables, Gianni. You need to eat more vegetables. How about a nice, big, juicy, green... What have I done? Zucchini! Ah! That's all the time we have for today, folks! See you next time! This has been another disgustingly diabolical episode of In the Kitchen with Giuseppe Zucchini. Tune in next time when Gianni says... Delicious! Don't you dare! Daniel for dinner. Dear God, if I lived in a den with those other lions way back when, as hungry as a lion could be, and a fine-looking Daniel was served to me, I'd want to eat him right away. But first, dear God, I'd stop to pray. Because I know it is very rude to not thank you for all my food, so I'd give out a mighty roar to show you I am thankful for the finest meal I ever did meet and all the dandy things I eat. Yep, a Daniel for dinner may be fun trying, but I'm thankful I'm me, God, and that's no lion. Can you tell me the story of Daniel and the lion's den? Daniel was praying to our God, and everyone else was praying to a different, and they had the king sign a law that said the, the only thing that you, the only person you could pray to was him. So they threw him in the lion's den. He was trapped in with lions, and he prayed to God that he would get out alive. And the lions don't like him, but then God closed the lion's mouth. Wow, that's a great story. And I'm not lying. <laughs> Desserts. My favorite part of every meal comes at the very end. 
When I have made a happy plate and one more dish comes in, a special plate or bowl filled up with tempting tasty treats, dear God, I thank you for dessert, my favorite thing to eat. It may be cake or custard or a slice of apple pie. It could be ice cream sundae, scoop seven flavors high. A brownie or a cupcake or some pudding in a bowl. Some creme brulee served a flambe, a dozen donut holes. Some wiggly wobbly gelatin or yogurt with a peach. Or just an after dinner mint would be the perfect treat. Dear God, of all the foods you've made, I simply love desserts. Although they're last, I'll always try to thank you for them first. What is your very favorite dessert? Candy. Popsicles. Ice cream. Brownies. Cookies. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Ice cream. Ice cream. Cake. Pretty much everything. Remember to thank God for all your food. That means desserts, too. Dreams. When I lay down and go to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep Until the morning starts to gleam. I dream, dream, dream. My body's tired, I close my eyes. I guess my mind needs exercise. No matter how worn out I seem, I dream, dream, dream. I could fly to Mars, eat some candy bars, play connect the stars on the way. Who knows what I'll see, anything could be. Dreams are just like that, they say. And when I wake and night is done, I'll smile and see the rising sun. And thank you, God, for all the fun. I dream, dream, dream. Can you tell me about a dream you had? I had a dream about a spider. I was in the kitchen with lots and lots of people, and as soon as everyone left, a big monster came out. I had a dream that I met God. Hey, why not say a prayer thanking God for the things you dream? Diorama. Look in this box and you will see a world created just by me. With cotton clouds hung from the sky, a tinfoil lake surrounded by a forest of pipe cleaners in a row, on top of a mountain of purple Play-Doh, a milk carton cabin with pretzel walls, a rainbow of ribbons above it all, and animals made out of cardboard and clay, positioned just perfectly on display. It's my diorama, God, and I made it to remind me of everything you created. When I look inside, I pretend that I am looking down at your world from the sky. And I thank you, God, that I can be part of your diorama created for me. A diorama can be a little model of the world. Perhaps you could make a diorama and fill it with your favorite things from God's creation. Everybody ready? I said, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? Well, if everybody's ready, now's your chance. Get up and do the odd bark dance. Today, let's dance like a dinosaur. Pull your arms and your sleeves. So you have claws like these. Then your feet can stomp. And your teeth can chomp. Then you open your jaws for one big roar. You're a dandy dinosaur. Ho ho! It's a dinosaur dance. It's a dinosaur dance. It's a dinosaur dance. It's a dinosaur dance. <laughs> well, you took a chance and did the dinosaur dance. 
we're done, so give yourself a hand. Now get out of here, you dinosaur. <laughs> D animals. Thank you, God, for dung beetles. Thank you, God, for dung beetles. For donkeys and for dolphins. For donkeys and for dolphins. Thanks for deer and dormice. Thanks for deer and dormice. And duck-billed platypuses. And duck-billed platypuses. Thanks for daddy long legs. Thanks for daddy long legs. For doves and dromedaries. For doves and dromedaries. God made all these animals. God made all these animals. And I think that's just dandy. Pray today for animals that start with D. A good night prayer. It's time to close your eyes and dream of darting by while dipping like a daredevil who rides a dragonfly. Good night. Good night, may angels in their flight Watch over you the whole night through Until the morning light, good night Goodbye everybody, sleep tight And don't forget to say your prayers Nighty night